Hey guys, this is Jake from Stay Fun. Today we're gonna do a speaker upgrade on the square body dually. Let's jam. So in the last video, I introduced you to my new toe pig. This is the square body dually that I cleaned up, polished up, got the interior cleaned up on. As you can see there, we got uh, blue carpet now. I don't think I've shown you all that. I actually spray painted the carpet blue, got the seat covers on and everything. And now we're gonna do a speaker upgrade. And what that entails, according to the Googling that I did anyways, they use three and a half inch speakers in the stock format, three and a half in the front, four by tens in the rear. We're gonna change out to some three inch ones in the front because apparently the three and a half ones were very low profile and most aftermarket ones won't fit. So some small three inch speakers in the front, upgrading to some six by nines in the rear. And then I've got a bracket here that actually goes in the cab corner of the square bodies that'll accept the six by nine speakers. So that'll help me upgrade the size in the rear. And hopefully these front ones will actually fit in the front where they're supposed to. If not, we'll just get some new ones. So I believe the first steps to getting this done is getting the dash off so that I can actually access the front speakers. Uh, so let's start with that. That should be kind of pulling the cluster out, loosening the screws, pulling the dash itself out, and then we'll see what holds the speakers in place. Well, we got it all. There's a speaker over here. Nice big rat's nest there. And another speaker over here. Let's uh, go ahead and get one of these out and see if our three inch ones will replace it okay. All right, so I misspoke earlier. I don't have three inch, I have three and a half inch. I don't know how I missed that. It says it right on the box, 3.5 inch. So, you know, but Comparing this to the existing one, looks about like this. So we got it, you know, it's about the same size that way. You look at it from this direction, they're about the same depth. Looks like they got two of the three mounting holes right there. So I think I just pull it loose, put this one on, figure out how to plug it up, and then we'll see if it works. Well, it looks like it fits okay in that hole. The real question is gonna be, you know, the height there. Is that gonna be a problem when I go to put the stinking uh, dash pad back on? Hmm, I might have to uh, do something about the dash pad, but that'd be okay. I got a dash pad cover anyways. I will say I, I got it hooked up. So what I did is I deep end, I deep end the uh, existing electrical connector and then just use the uh, pins that were already on there to connect them to the positive and negative of this new speaker and I gave it a little test run that sounds a heck of a lot better but I'm gonna save the entire experience for you I'm gonna test each one of these speakers as I put it in make sure it's working before I finalize it and then I'll give you a taste of what it actually sounds like when it's all complete that way you have the uh, the real effect of the upgrade you know from fart can noises to actual decent sounding radio. Let's do the other one while we're at it. There we go. Looks like nothing ever happened. Except for it sounds a whole lot better. Let's get the rear ones done and then you can hear it too. So 
So here's where we should be seeing some improvements. Here's the factory four by 10 and the six by nine that I bought. Just by comparison of the cone and everything, I believe this guy right here should boost our uh, sound quality and sound level quite a bit. What we've got to do now, get this bracket out, figure out uh, where the new bracket places, get it in place, get the uh, speakers wired up and see how much better it sounds. I'm pretty sure bolt, bolt, maybe another bolt somewhere along in here. Pull this out, the other one should, based on the bracketry, should kind of fit in there, snap in somehow. I guess we'll figure it out. Learn as we go type of style. But uh, man, that's gonna be an improvement. Well, I got this speaker out and bracketry and everything. So I figured y'all might wanna see where I place this thing and how it gets placed. By the way, these brackets and speakers and everything that I'm using will be linked down in the description below. I have a feeling though, that I may have to take this uh, cardboard tray thing out of the way to get my new bracket in. Let's find that out. Hmm. Yeah, pretty, pretty good chance that I'm gonna have to at least cut it down. I guess I could try cutting it first. There's like a gap on this side, but it fits nice and flush over there. Cardboard would be okay. Let me go ahead and put these couple little tabs back in to hold it back. Let's see what this speaker needs now. So it did come with some mounting screws, it looks like, and uh, some wire, terminal wiring with the pre-made ends. Let's see what ends are on this one to begin with, see if we can get them out. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, I guess we'll just uh, go ahead and cut them, strip them, hook them up. This should be good enough to make sure it fits. I probably should have made sure it fat fit. Should have made it sure it fit beforehand. That fits nice. That's quite good. I'm gonna these mounting holes, get them drawn out, and then we'll, uh, we'll mount it up. Well, we got the first one done on the rear, and it actually looks pretty good. Take a look at this thing. Ain't that swell? <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go do the other side. Well, we got it installed, so let's see how it sounds a little bit. I got fuzz. There we go. No more fart cans. All right, well, that was a pretty good success. Again, link to all of those is down in the description below. I actually really like those brackets. They were pretty easy to install. They're, they're very snug in there. And uh, they let you get to the uh, six by nines, which are apparently a lot more easily available and uh, last a lot longer. So I should be good with these speakers for a good little while. And it'll be great running down the road where I can actually hear what's going on instead of just <laughs> if you haven't already seen it go check out the video where i actually introduced this to the channel it should be the one right before this and uh well 
Y'all have a good one. See you later.